Arctic Explorers between the lines. Three, two, one, go. Match number 67 is underway. We see three red robots, two blue robots, now three. 1075 makes their way forwards, earning six points for driving off of level two Hab in the sandstorm period. And all the unsecured cargo falls out of the cargo ship and teams get set to score. 69-17. They have a cargo in their robot. They place it successfully alongside their partners. That was 77-35, also scoring a cargo. Fury of cargo scoring right now. 76-03 scores, but not done yet. 69-17, lining up. Trying to get a placement, they're good. Another scorer, 1075, Blue Alliance coming for some defense. Blocking two red robots at the same time, pushing 42-52. Out, now two robots being pushed. Great defense from 1075, your number one seed. 7603, trying to place cargo. Human players unleashing cargo into the field for their robots to pick up and score. 1075 crashes into the uh, cargo ship, but no problem there. Trying to block out 6917, doing a great job of that. 4252 on the Red Alliance, going to their human player station, goes for the hatch. Let's see where they put that hatch. Looks like they're going for the other side of the Red Rocket. Team 7603, Bill Hogarth, secondary school, scores a cargo just in the nick of time before 6917 can bump them around. 51 to 43, pretty high scoring match so far. And it's only gonna go up, 1075, shoving 6917 sideways, not allowing them to score. Looks like Red Alliance is gonna go start to the Hab climb. We've seen 42-52 go for that level two. They're going up. 10-75 on the blue alliance trying to narrow the gap. They're going up for level three. 42-52, oh, 10-75 slams to the side of their robot. We'll see if that'll affect this the outcome of this match. Red Alliance happy with what they have. Blue Alliance last second scores from 7603. Cargo in the rocket ship. Three seconds left, one, and that's that match. Final results, Red Alliance with the victory. 63 to 53, 1075 dropping down to second place and 77-35 up into third. Qualification.